Morning folks. Day soap is brought to us by Angora Soaps. Name of this one here is Murrah Woods. It does have a woody scent, redwood, cedar wood, <laughs> various woods, and a and it has a, a must scent to it too also. Uh, comes in four and a half, it starts out with four and a half. This one here is not four and a half anymore. Used it a few times. And uh, it's rather firm in the container there, but it's easy to scoop out and whip up in a lathering bowl there. Um, I like this soap, it's pretty nice. It's got a nice base. Matter of fact, I was having a little bit of fun whipping up the lather this morning. Uh, it's a, uh, there we go. Whipped it up here. This is a, uh, get the bottom of the brush there. This is a DS Cosmetic handle with a synthetic knot. You can get this handle with this coloration to it, kind of marbleized, if you will. And you can get one that's white as well as black. I've got a link down below. That's what it looks like there on the inside. I would just, I just spend just a little bit of time just continuing just swirling there in the bowl and it whipped up just like this right here. It's, it's pretty easy to whip up a nice lather. And it, it does have the woody scent. And I think the, uh, at least per my nose, it seems like the musk, uh, if you're not a big, how do you say, wood scent fan, the, I think the musk help takes some of the edge off of the wood there. And I'm going to be following the shave up uh, with Club Man's uh, Reserve uh, Whiskey Woods. Uh, I like the, this line of uh, aftershaves. To me, that hits my nose just right. Blade of choice today. It's going to be Persona. And I got it in a Star Safety Razor. <laughs> yeah, another vintage shave. And you might be able to see that it is very similar to a Gillette in these posts right here except for you notice there's a little bit of a post going each direction and uh, that's what makes this one here kind of unique I guess you might say in that aspect in the way of stabilizing the uh, the blade itself I've seen uh, two different colorations uh, I've seen the gold ones and the silver ones so uh, if you're hunting and you happen to see a silver one yeah they they do make them in a couple of different colors or you put a hot towel to the face this morning so we'll go ahead and wet the face and get started with the uh, pre-shave soap uh, I ice cube from Phoenix artisan accoutrements got it sitting over here waiting ready to go I've had this shave set up for a moment there's something about club men's uh, aftershaves for me that I do enjoy and this particular soap base knowing how scent is uh, subjective to everyone how it hits their nose and my nose some days it may smell like one thing one day and the next day it might be something different <laughs> just depends on how well my nose is working but uh, this soap base is pretty nice. It works well for me. Like I say, it took no time at all to whip it up, and it whips up pretty nice. And, uh, it, you know, as it goes for soap base, it just kind of varies uh, from base to base on how much water you need to put in it to whip up the lather that you like. This one here is not quite drippy, but it is hydrated. I can, it, it does smell good to me, at least my nose. Uh, the wood scents do work well for my nose. I did say this was a 26 millimeter knot. I think I did. It's a little bit bigger than what I normally would use. But I, I mainly got it because I do like the shape of this handle. It is easy to hang on to. Goes on pretty nice. I think these, uh, I'm not sure about what year these razors came out. So you'll find these in different conditions. And some of them may have a print on the cap there. It might say a silver star. Not all of them do, as you can tell. But on the base plate on the under, underside, it'll say star. It's stamped on the bottom there. 
Made in USA. And, uh, matter of fact, it says star on each side there. Then on the bottom it says uh, Made in USA. It may look similar to a Gillette tag. But it is not quite as mild as a Gillette tag. I think there's just a bit more blade feel to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just a bit. Don't think it's anything overwhelming, startling. <laughs> <laughs> or anything quite like that. I have some uh, safety racers where, yeah, <laughs> as soon as you get started, it, it is definitely commanding your attention because there's a lot of blade feel. <laughs> but it's a safety racer. It's not a shave head, it's a safety racer. <laughs> this is a pretty nice knot. I think it's referred to as a T4 as it goes for a knot. I think that's how I read it. I got a link down below if you want to check it out at AliExpress to see what I'm talking about. On the advertisement, I also noticed that they uh, uh, have some lathering bowls. And they seem to be kind of inexpensive. In other words, hitting right around the $4 mark, I think. Plastic ones. I have not checked out their shaving bowls before. It's kind of tempting at four bucks. It's kind of hard to pass it up to give it a try. See how it works out. It's kind of, sort of, styled after the uh, fine accoutrements lathering bowl in that it's a, it seems to have a wide mouth, but it is taller. And it has the handle that's kind of scooped out where you can put your uh, shaving brush. Just rest it right there on the handle. Looks pretty interesting. I mean, I've seen this shape a few times, you know, different variations as it goes for any kind of grooves or anything on the inside to help with the lathering. This one here has a little design on the base or the bottom of the bowl. Uh, looks like it might be helpful. I know uh, my very favorite bowl for lathering is a, uh, it's porcelain. <laughs> I haven't broke it yet. I haven't dropped it, but it's like a pedestal bowl. It's got a little pedestal at the bottom where you can hang on to it. And uh, it was one I found at a thrift store. Picked it up for about a dollar. And of course it's red. One of my favorite colors is red. And uh, the labeling on the bottom has rubbed off. So I don't know for sure who made the bowl. Uh, if I didn't know any better, I think he, it said at one point in time that it's made in Germany. Well, like I said it was partially rubbed off when I got it and it is all but gone now so I'm not sure who made it and I have not seen that bowl like that since I found the one in the thrift store I have another bowl that is very small. It's like a custard bowl. Uh, just big enough for Williams mug soap to fit right down in there. Plops in there perfect, you know. And it's got two little like little grooves on the side. Makes it easy to hang on to. Pretty easy going shave. I like this razor. Uh, like I say, it's got just a little bit more blade feel than a Gillette Tech. Kind of feels a little bit more, uh, I guess you might say efficient would be the word that I'm looking for. It uh, just depends on what kind of shaver you're looking for. They're usually not too terribly expensive. 
as it goes for what is it made out of, I think, I think the handle's aluminum. At least it sure does feel like it is lightweight. Doesn't have a whole lot of weight to it. Like I say, you can find them in different conditions. Some up not so good. <laughs> but like any other vintage razor, sometimes they're looking pretty worn. And then some of them look practically brand new. Benny Cyrus and Accoutrements, uh, Alan Block, complete with rubber band this morning. No stinging this morning. Nice shave this morning. Easy going. Great for a Thursday morning. Make sure I get that closed there. Witch Hazel today is going to be Humphreys. And this one here is unscented. And yes, it, it is a 16 ounce variety. It's, it's a big bottle. It's huge. It's going to last a good long moment. Oh, if you ever seen it, that's what the restrictor looks like right there. Easy to pour out. Hope everything's going well weather-wise where you're at. I know here in Oklahoma, it's kind of like all over the map. I uh, hear pretty soon this weekend. I think it's on Sunday. Last time I looked. Should be expecting weather to get up around 80 degrees. <laughs> we have, uh, what was the day before yesterday, we had rain. To, then the, yesterday, we had the red flag warning. It Yeah, the weather is just all over the map, I tell you what. The one thing I do like about this, uh, and I do mention it from time to time about labeling, is that it does give you a little bit of the scent profile right there. It says a, um, a smoky scent with whiskey, tobacco, and woody notes. And it says all that right there. So I do appreciate that sort of thing. Makes a big difference to me. There it is right there. That's the restrictor. It's plastic. This is a plastic container. I know some believe that uh, putting aftershave in plastic changes the scent over time. With my nose, I couldn't tell you one way or the other. I do know that it is pretty nice to... It gives you that, uh, gives you that premium feel when you get a glass container. Uh, it just feels better in the hand, but I have to say the shape of this one here is easy to hang on to. You can see how it's kind of concaved right there. Yeah, that makes it pretty easy to hang on to. Had a great shave this morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shaves to you.